Alright, so a couple of days ago, a lot of you guys were looking at the hype train uh, that was coming through for Cosmos, and the deck really has settled down now. Um, Jeff Jones piloted the deck along with uh, four other people at an ARG case tournament, and people were really blown away at the fact that all of a sudden Cosmos come out of nowhere doing good, whether or not it be an ARG format, and the card actually peaked at like $70 yesterday. And it's coming crashing down today, actually. Um, the fact that these will probably be gone in probably the hour or so. Oh, the card's steadily going under 60 now, uh, which is extremely good. So I just wanted to point that out on the Market Watch that this card, whether or not Hype Trains be real or not, after a day or so of the card peaking out, uh, things begin to settle down. And then same thing with Drogato. Uh, this card was like 25 yesterday afternoon. A uh, card's already dropping below the $25 mark. Um, really, this is just another good example of hype. Um, you know, looking at this card and everyone being like, oh my god, it's $25, the card is good. Don't get me wrong. Issue is, it's not $25 good. Uh, the other thing that's helping this card stay up in price is the fact that Europe hasn't actually got the release for this yet. Um, once the European version comes out, um, that's a whole other part of this card being released around the world. Uh, and it's definitely going to go down in price as well on its global release. So just look at that pie chart there. So guys, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this Jurigato and Farm Girl hype. Things are beginning to finally settle down on them, which I'm extremely happy about. So, all right, guys. I'm I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out VanCole40 for Cardfight Vanguard, MCole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.